And we are back. You know, that took about 30 seconds and I decided let's just continue on with the first uh, three legs of the journey. Uh, I just, I'm going to try doing it while live narrating it. And if I think that I've bitten off more than I can chew, uh, maybe uh, we'll switch it to uh, after the fact commentary, but I'm kind of interested to see how it goes. So let's go ahead and embark. Um, this is going to take a little bit of time because I'm going to explain a lot of the options here. Uh, so people will be familiar with most aspects of the game. I'm always happy to answer questions if anyone has them. So please feel free to leave comments. Okay, so here we go with Arthur. Uh, look at the opposite end of the galaxy, uh, Gambulon 5, a jewel in space. I wish you the best of luck in your journey, which reminds me, in case you don't have the best of luck, something to keep in mind out here in space is, if you lose your ship somehow, we can send a rescue beam and return you back to base. But your ship and all the money you are carrying will be completely lost. That is, unless you can find a stonks banking and insurance agency. There, you will be able to insure your ship as well as safely deposit your earnings in case something bad happens. This is what a bank agency looks like, so keep an eye out for them. Yes, that is what a bank agency looks like. There's three um, services you can get at the substations. You can get the bank slash insurance uh, agent in one. You can get a service station in another, which uh, allows you to do uh, refueling, repair, and uh, cleaning, and you can get an upgrade uh, station where you can purchase upgrades for your specific uh, star line, space line that you're currently flying. So uh, with that being said, all right, safe travels, brave steward. So here we go. Uh, we are here. We have to navigate this map moving always forward until we get to uh, Gambulon 5. These are randomly generated, it seems. Um, I'm sure you could find the same map twice, but I think it would be pretty unique. This one already kind of sucks to me because we have no option on that side when we get to the end. You have one option all the way down, where at least on this side we might have, might have two until we choose the... Oh, yeah. Okay, well, doesn't hurt to look forward a little, I guess, right? Well, at the beginning, we only have one option. So, you know what? Let's move ahead. So, here we are, Route 1. Uh, the distance is uh, 422 AU. I believe that's astronomical units. Uh, Roughly, I, I'm thinking that real time every 200 to 230 AU translates into a real world minute. I don't know that it matters, but it's just something I was kind of trying to, you know, get a guess on. Uh, that's if you aren't throttling forward, by the way, or going out of your way to hit destinations or avoid obstacles. Uh, very easy just means uh, of the five obstacles that are in the game, uh, these are the easiest, the plain asteroids. The standard economy is our star rating, how happy or dissatisfied our customers are with us, our passengers. At this point, we're starting off at the beginning rate of two stars, and that dictates our ticket price uh, at $16 a passenger. So uh, the second page gives us a lot more information and let's break it down. And I think I have videos up about some of this. So first we have our flight details. We have uh, two passengers from the beginning. So we'll earn th $32 right at the beginning of this leg of the flight. Uh, there are seven stops. Uh, they are the top row, left to right, uh, fuel pump, gas station, uh, wrench and uh, screwdriver is the repair station. The soap and the bubbles would be our cleaning station. The toilet is the bathroom, but it is grayed out, so there is no bathroom stop along this first leg of the journey. And that is the only one I think that is ever grayed out on the top. Now, the bottom three are passenger destination or passenger. Uh, uh, 
stations where you can uh, pick up passengers. The first one, it's hard to see, but there is a uh, planet with a spaceship uh, nose dive into the side of it. And I think that's a help sign on top of a tent. Uh, so you are picking up a stranded passenger and they will pay you double the money to get them the hell off of it of whatever your ticket price is. The middle uh, passenger pickup uh, station is a, or stop, is um, the m medium size and you would get uh, two or I believe three passengers there. I, I seem to average about three. Um, I don't know that you can get four, but I seem to average about three at that one. The largest platform over there uh, on the right is uh, the passenger pickup you can get on average four as many as five but you can get as few as three i don't think you can get more than five but um i i don't remember getting more than five let's put it that way weather report because we have not experienced any obstacles before um we already know they're asteroids. We were told they were asteroids. So that, that's going to be asteroids next time we see that uh, in our weather report. Now, the parcel detected under connection details. There are five uh, color-coded tiers of parcels. They are in order from least to, mo to best would be white, green, blue, purple, and red. Uh, white is very good for me for the start of this run because that's guaranteed 50 to $70 cash. If it were green, there could be other things like brand logos or uh, brand colors or cash. All of them can contain cash. I, as a solo player, have yet to experience cash in the red ones. Uh, but we'll talk more about those as we find different colored parcels. But uh, for the start, I like having the white parcel, uh, especially for this run, because it's going to give us more money at the beginning. So, uh, but we're not going to be using it for upgrades. We'll only be using it for uh, fuel repairs, cleaning, such as that. So we're going to get ready to go. Now, there, it, it, when we start, it you know, the clock is running. Um, and I will only uh, take time uh, to explain things um, in a pause kind of situation when uh, the robot talks or something, or when we hit a docking station where uh, a pause menu comes up and I'm not gonna just pause the game or stop the game otherwise. So uh, let's get going. So I know this is all slow right now, but uh, moving forward, it's probably going to get a lot more frantic, frenetic, hectic, uh, and I'm probably going to lose it quick. But uh, I seriously doubt we'll lose it in this uh, first uh, three uh, flights or th first three legs of our uh, journey. So here we go with our maiden voyage. You'll recognize this from the first video as our uh, layout we chose for the Moto 101C. So here we are, Arthur. Okay, seems like we have a passenger on board. Well, Arthur, we have two. Try to keep cool. Passengers are the bread and butter of what we do. They're what keeps us in business, even though they can get a bit demandy. Yes, we will see that. This is where you can see a passenger's various needs. If it's blue, it's not bothering them yet. If it's orange, it will start affecting their evaluation of our company. If it is red, or if it's red, they need your immediate attention or else something bad might happen. I'm going to pause here for a second. So it's showing the icon for food. There are two ways that passengers have demands. One is for hunger. The other is for entertainment. So food, we would use the cooking station. We would need to power it, grab something off the catering cart, put it on there, allow it time to cook, take it off before it burns, um, and serve it to the uh, the passenger. We can throw it on the ground and let it sit for a while. If it sits too long, it, it uh, becomes rotten and that can nauseate passengers and you who will throw up all over the place, which further complicates the issue. We'll probably see this in the future. But uh, the other, the entertainment is where you dance for them. And it's a very simple uh, 
system of just holding, uh, well, an Xbox, the X button, and then pushing left or right or up or down. Uh, and it's very generous with, uh, with the sensitivity of it. It's not as hard as some of the other games. Uh, so that's it. Now, one thing I will say I notice immediately is that these passengers are far apart. So for convenience, I'm going to immediately pick them up and put at least one of them closer to the other to where um, I can dance and have them both in uh, the circle that will um, affect their needs. The other thing I was going to say is as we uh, meet their needs, whether it's hunger or uh, entertainment, that will work to increase our star rating uh, and raise our customer level and raise, therefore, our ticket prices. If we, um, if we fail to meet their needs and it goes to the red and beyond, then we lose a significant portion of star ratings potentially. And the more passengers you have, the bigger ding you can take to star ratings. And I think I've lost over two stars on one leg of the flight before. So if you're really ignorant of or ignoring the passengers, uh, you can really get penalized fast and have the health inspector up your ass or your whole ship closed down. So um, with all that being said, um, I think we're just going to go at it now. Uh, I'll let you know what, what I'm going to do first is grab a passenger, put it near the other one. I'm going to, the cooking station is already powered. Um, there should be no obstacles in our immediate way. This is a very, very short leg. So we may or may not get to pick up many passengers. Probably not. Uh, we may get a fuel station, but primarily we're just going to try to dance and feed these people to get about a half a star rating would be my guess and then get to the uh, first uh, substation and uh, that'll be it so let's see how this transpires oh and he's going to interrupt us a couple more times probably at least once or twice uh, so there will be that just remember the customer is always right well, except when they try to sue us, then they're certainly wrong. Okay, here we go. Let's grab this person. Oh, there we go already. It seems that your passengers are getting hungry. You can feed them by cooking the meal packets from your catering system. Well, thank you for that. What, you know what? Uh, you'll notice I, it's either me misclicking or sometimes it's the actual, I don't know, controller of the game. I'm gonna turn that off for a minute. I don't wanna cook quite this early. We're going to dance, and one person was already getting a little hungry. It takes uh, four and a half. Four and a half correct movements gives you the uh, bonus to your star rating. So now we're going to go ahead and cook for this guy. And as I said before, we've already kind of cleared out. Oh, I see there is a, a passenger over there. So we're going to steer toward that passenger. Uh, we'll go ahead and cook one more because the other person's hungry now too. So let's feed this person. We're going to cut the power as soon as that's done cooking. Uh, next time we pause, let's go ahead and dock. Uh, next time we pause, I'm going to turn my volume up on my TV because uh, we will not get very far in this game if I do not hear the sound effects. So I think from here we're pretty safe. Uh, I doubt we'd get any other. I, I wouldn't go back on this run anyway. But we may have missed a few things. Yeah, we missed. Oh, your passengers are requesting some form of in-flight entertainment. If you have no entertainment system, you could try to charm them with those dance moves you've got. Yeah, and we're going to uh, do that. But what I was saying is, I think you only get about one stop normally and one fuel uh, stop. One passenger pickup stop, one fuel stop, probably on your first run. It's why you don't get a lot of opportunity for star rating. It's just so fast. So if you can get one passenger stop and, and with or without fuel, I think you're you're on a, you know, it's a pretty easy leg. So um, we're going to go ahead and uh, we're already headed the right way. We're not going to cook anymore. We're just going to come over here and uh, dance for those people until uh, we get to the uh, first substation and then we'll discuss it. Oh, I don't even think I'm going to make it. Let's try one. Nope. Couldn't even do it. Just 
like I said, the journey is just w way too short on that first one to really have any uh, sense of accomplishment. But, you know, it's a good start. Uh, so here we are, first uh, leg of the journey. We were on time. Uh, we had five passengers, so we started with two. We picked up three. The next page, we earned $96. We spent none, although we, we did use gas or fuel, so we will, uh, you know, there is a, uh, that's a gross figure with the money earned. We will need to spend money uh, on fuel. The one thing I haven't mentioned, I don't think anywhere else, it seems to be about $110, $112 is a full three bar fuel tank because I pulled in on fumes one time where I thought I was going to die for sure at a substation and it was 110. So uh, yeah, somewhere around there is the most you would, it would cost you to refuel the entire three bar uh, ship. So uh, let's get to the first uh, substation. We'll look around there. There ain't going to be much to see because there is no services available here. Uh, but there will be a parcel. So go ahead and talk to me about that, Arthur. Look. A lost parcel. I wonder what's inside. Well, then why'd you leave? You could have stayed here and watched us open it. But uh, yeah, so a service station would be over there for fuel and cleaning and such. The bank would be here and the upgrade would be over there. And we will get far enough at least to see those. Uh, so let's go ahead and open our first parcel. It was white and oh my God, it's money. Shocking. Uh, and it's between 50 and $70. Shocking yet again. So uh, that's it. That's the first leg of our journey down. Uh, we just go right back in and embark and start the second leg of our journey. And this time at least we'll have options uh, to uh, pick where our second leg of the journey takes us. So we have three options. We can go left, straight, or right. Uh, we cannot go to and we cannot go back. So let's look at these. Again, I'm not concerned with what I'm seeing on the left side of the screen because those are all pretty much locked. It's the ones on the right where when you have options, this is these are the things I look for. I might look at the passengers, but that would probably be the last thing I look at. I might look at the parcels, but that would be second to last or, or maybe last. It would switch between those two. Um, I'm definitely going to look at stops and I'm going to look at the bottom three and I'm going to hope that they're all lit up. They're, they can all be lit up. Any variation of them can be lit up or none of them can be lit up. So a uh, weather report doesn't bother me. I've experienced all five of the obstacles in here and uh, all five at once if you're on the last level, I think it is. So that's, uh, that's fine by me. But since, okay, so this one we get the second and third, uh, the two largest stops with two passengers and a green parcel. So let's go over here and we get a blue parcel with all three stops and three passengers to start. So more money, more prizes. I love it. Um, but no services. And let's see, this middle one will probably have services. It definitely has services. So here we go. On the left, where it says connection details, we now see modules upgrade store. We did not see that on either of the others. They were blank. So that's where you would see if you had a bank, an upgrade store, or a service uh, center. So at this point, uh, the two options would be these two. Now, they both afford us the opportunity to go to two, two destinations after them. So would the other, but we're, I'm already discounting the one. Um, the thing that's making me want to go this way is uh, we'll see an upgrade store later, but I want more opportunities to pick passengers up because I want more money now. Um, this is how I would bank money as well when I'm playing the game. I do runs like this with an entry-level ship, uh, and I put no upgrades on it, and I hit all the passenger spots I can while keeping my star rating up. 
get to the first bank, bank everything, and then every bank I can make after that without paying for upgrades and insurance, I just bank it, bank it all pretty much. And uh, I can average probably easily over a thousand, maybe up to 1700 per run that way. There's probably better or easier ways to do it. I don't know it. That's, that's how I do it. Um, so I'm going to go this way. Yeah. We're, we're going to go this way. Uh, we get another passenger. We get another pickup location in case we miss any. Um, and we get a blue parcel. Uh, and we're not going to buy upgrades anyway. I'd like to know what's at that upgrade thing, but maybe it's better not to know. Don't want to be tempted. So here we go. Outer Comet Starlines. Our second voyage so first off yes we have someone outside of our little range where we would be able to dance you can only get four seats at once so once we hit the four and we get those stars we're out of here we need to check and make sure there's nothing in our way there is not these people are going to need to be fed to get our star rating up so i am going to start cooking now i'm going to took our navigation and look we're gonna have to go left probably I forgot to, yep, we gotta go left. I forgot to turn my volume up. Well, the next time we stop, our volume is going up. Yeah, you want something, don't you? There you go, brother. Okay, so let's hit the gas station first. And if you can, you see that white circle emanating and we can stop at the gas station, right? Now we go into an artificial pause that I'm not pausing the game. It's just the uh, choice confirmation. So the game automatically pauses. Uh, this I said we would stop at potentially so I could explain things. So, um, yeah, so this is where we're going to fuel up. I always put all the fuel in that I have the money for. Uh, there's just no reason not to if you have the money. Um, you'll see we've used, I have not throttled forward. We've used up... Uh, a whole bar between the last flight and this flight. I don't think we've fueled up. I think this is the first time. And uh, there's that white circle that emanates out from these stops. So if you can uh, answer your, I believe it's the communications, the phone, when you first hit that white circle, it pulls you in. So it saves you fuel. It saves you potential time and distance, and uh, when comets come at our ass later, which we may or may not get that far when I'm commenting and, and trying to play, but if we do, uh, or if you're playing it, you can utilize these stops to your advantage and uh, avoid comets that way. Some people have asked how to avoid a comet. That's how I would do it if it's available. It isn't always available. But like I said, I hope we get far enough to do the comets. Uh, if I like just fudge this around horribly and blow it, uh, maybe I'll do one without commentary and we'll go farther. So we'll see. But for now, we're just going to continue on. We're going to pick up those passengers next. And then we're going to probably uh, look for more while we make a beeline for the uh, second substation. So go ahead and confirm our fuel. And you get time here. So now we can come over and we could dance. Uh, we cannot feed them. I could have put some food on the grill. Oh, there we go. Navigation's already starting to break down. You know what? Oh, I forgot. Did I miss him? Oh, we're going back. What? And this is what I was saying before. Man, I am horrible at doing two things at once. What was broken? Something the navigation was breaking. Wow. Just so very, very disappointing. I hit the wrong button. <sighs> and I hit the wrong one again. Why? I don't have volume. Okay, whatever. I said I would turn the volume up and that would give me some reminder or some cues. And I didn't. So you know what? Uh, let me grab the controller while we're waiting here for a second. Wow, that was just miserably bad. Um, let's go ahead and feed on... I'll check the navigation. God, that was just god awful. Oh, there's a fuel pump over here, so that's helpful. All right, so two of you want food. We'll go ahead and feed one more. And navi God, the navigation's just breaking down. Uh, oh, I need, I need to 
hit this real fast. All right, let's see if we can get better. Let's go ahead and after you uh, select your fuel, it gives you a little bit of time. The more fuel you need, the longer time you have. But it gives you a little bit of time to, oh, you know what, grab him, throw him here. It gives you a little more time to uh, fix things, to, you know, deal with your peeps, whatever, your passengers. Uh, yeah, that was not good. Okay. Oh, you know what? I wouldn't normally do it, but we have almost full fuel. Oh, it sucked me in. Okay, well, I was a little too close. That was, I wouldn't even give myself a C minus. That was a solid D or F rating. We still increased our um, star rating, but wow, that was just bad. Only picked up one set of passengers and one passenger for that matter. And uh, yeah, I killed the battery. Um, when I meant to uh, power, you know, shut the power off one of the stations and move it to the other. So, okay, well, experience, right? Live and learn, all that kind of stuff. We did get double the money for that uh, pickup because it was a stranded passenger and uh, we were on time. So, okay, well, I guess that's good. Let's do one more leg, uh, see if we can improve. Can't get much worse than that without crashing and burning. But let's see if we can get a little better this round. Or... Okay, yet again, no, uh, no services here. We get one parcel and it is a uh, brand logo. So not gonna help us this round, but still nice to unlock uh, those things, so. Here we go with the last leg of this video, and then I'm going to, uh, excuse me, shut it down, go to bed, and we'll pick up tomorrow and uh, see how far we can get. So we have two options. We're going to do them quick. Uh, green parcel, all three uh, passenger pickups, and just asteroids. Here we have purple parcel, one passenger pickup, and an asteroid with uh, three passengers total. You know what, neither of them have services, and uh, right now I am most interested in uh, passengers. We need more money. I've not, we've not had a good run so far with picking up passengers and making money. So let's see if we can't hit a few more, and uh, no excuses. I've had two chances here to get more comfortable. It's time to, uh, put it all to good use. So I'm going to take a risk and very minimal risk and just dance uh, for a small boost to the rating. Yeah, I didn't think there'd be any. Next, I'm going to just start cooking because I know these, I still want that passenger rating up and to get that passenger rating up, we have got to cook. Uh, so thank you. We'll put another one on check navigation because we're pretty Yep, okay, well, we'll throw this one down too, and we'll cook one more, and then we're going to shut this off and switch back. Yep, someone's already hungry, that's good. Uh, did I just accidentally kill off the propulsion when I meant to do the... Yeah, that's what I was saying. I don't know if it's me or if it's the uh, controls, if it's the game, but obviously I did not mean to either of those times kill off... Oh, there's a bunch of people over here. We're going. Uh, this is the large pickup. We could get four or five of them, uh, which will give us more money. So we're, we're going to... Oh, we can't give it to them now. It's it's too... Uh, and the communication... Oh, communications is breaking down. Yeah, we're, it's just... This run, I am not doing good. And, you know, no one to blame but me. Oh, wait. If I burn that... Can you burn that, I wonder? I never tried that. Let's try burning it and see if that, uh... Oh good, there's a gas station there. Can we burn something that's rotten until it disintegrates? Yes, we can. That's new to me. It breaks your machine, but it gets rid of the funky smell which makes people sick. So I got no complaints, I'll take that. That's a live and learn thing. Oh, wait, what am I doing? We need to fuel. Okay. 
let's do this. You know what? I'm going to feed that person. I still want to try to get the best star rating. This is where I was saying you can uh, get extra time when you're uh, cooking. You know what? Here's something else. Take the guy with you so you don't have to go back to feed him. Hey, where are you going? There you go. Munch down. And what's over here? The only thing I'd take now would be a passenger pickup if we can get one to the right. Otherwise, uh, we got plenty of fuel, so you know what? We're just going to give a little boost. We're going to do a little dance for some of these people. Our star rating isn't as high as I would have liked it. I've done a lot of wrong things, and now our damn helm is breaking down. I don't think I've ever had so many things break down at the beginning of a run. Um, did we miss some pickups? Not really. Yeah, that, that's just Wow. Oh, there is one. We missed a stranded guy. We could have got double the money, but okay. We got four stars because we definitely arrived on time. Um, yeah, I, I, wow. That was just, I don't know. I wasn't expecting it. It's normally a lot smoother on your first three legs of the journey. If this is any indication of what's coming up uh, in the future, whew, I'm hosed. So, uh, Okay, seven passengers. We were on time again, which makes me happy. We hit the four stars. That makes me happy. Um, I wouldn't say this is a great bank run, but it wouldn't be a bad one, I suppose. It'd be okay. I'd take it. I'd keep going to bank money on this run. Uh, we made 216. We spent 48. Uh, we only hit one uh, passenger pickup location. If we could have hit another, you know, had some more money. So, uh, yeah, I think I'll cut the video here. Man, it's middle, way beyond the middle of the night. I think I'm going to run one more. I just feel good about it. Let's see what happens. I'm going to shut the video down now. And um, let's go for a, another leg of the journey, see where it takes us. So, thanks for anyone who's tuned in. Appreciate you. Bye.